Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Najwa Husseini with Azadi News. Fears of forced removals as Bangladesh moves hundreds of Rohingya refugees to remote island. OIC draws $1.2 million for Gambia to run Rohingya genocide case. Hundreds of Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh are being relocated to a controversial island facility in the Bay of Bengal today amid fears that some could be coerced to move there and held indefinitely. A ship carrying 1,642 refugees is traveling to Bashanchar, an island about 40 kilometers 24 miles off the coast near the city of Chittagong, according to Sharia Alam Bangladesh Minister. Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. The Bangladeshi government has spent years constructing a network of shelters on the island to accommodate up to 100,000 people currently living in sprawling refugee camps in Cox's Bazar near the Burmese border. But human rights groups and the refugees themselves have long expressed concerns over the safety of the uninhabited low-lying island as it often becomes partially submerged during monsoon season and is vulnerable to cyclones. Human Rights Watch has described conditions on the island as poor with Rohingya likely facing a lack of adequate medical care. The group has also expressed concerns that refugees there could be denied freedom of movement, sustainable livelihoods or education. It is also unclear what role if any humanitarian agencies will be allowed to have there. In a statement, Refugees International said the relocation was short-sighted and inhumane and should be stopped. Without appropriate assessments and adequate information for refugees about conditions on the island, the move is nothing short of a dangerous mass detention of the Rohingya people in violation of international human rights obligations, said Daniel Sullivan, the group's senior human rights advocate. The Bangladeshi foreign minister said he didn't understand why aid agencies were against the move and described reports of coercion as absolutely baseless. The government has been building facilities on Bashanchar for several years to ease pressure on the overcrowded camps at Cox's Bazar, which are home to about 1 million Rohingya refugees. Many of the refugees fled from Burma to Bangladesh to escape a genocidal operations in 2017 which led the International Court of Justice in The Hague to order Burma to protect the Rohingya population from acts of genocide. Burma denies the genocide accusations and maintains the clearance operations by the military where legitimate counter-terrorism measures. The United Nations said in a statement that it was not involved in preparations and has been given limited information on the relocations. It has also not been given access to the island to carry out safety and technical assessments. Rohingya refugees must be able to make a free and informed decision about relocating to Bashanchar based upon relevant, accurate and updated information, the statement said. Any relocations to Bashanchar should be preceded by comprehensive technical protection assessments. These independent United Nations assessments would review the safety, feasibility, and sustainability of Bashanchar as a place for refugees to live, as well as the framework for protection and the assistance and services they would be able to access on the island. An OIC fundraising campaign for the Gambia to support its legal battle seeking redressal of Rohingya genocide in International Court of Justice ICJ drew so far $1.2 million, while the West African nation said it urgently needed $5 million to pay the lawyers. Officials at the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC General Secretariat said the grouping of 57 countries having 
large Muslim population said Bangladesh appeared to be the largest contributor to the fund donating half a million dollar of the 1.2 million dollars. They said Saudi Arabia dispersed $300,000, Turkey, Nigeria and Malaysia each deposited $100,000, while the remaining $100,000 came from Islamic Solidarity Fund, a special OIC fund. The Gambia, on the other hand, said it immediately needed $5 million to pay a Washington-based law firm, which is engaged in the ICJ to fight the battle. We need $5 million right now to pay our international lawyers and support staffs, Gambia's Justice Minister Dada A. Jalo told BSS diplomatic correspondent Tanzim Anwar in an interview. On the sidelines of an OIC foreign minister's conference CFM last week in Niger. He added that the Gambia was under intense pressure over the payment issue from the international lawyers group persecuting the case in the ICJ. Jello estimated that the eventual cost to run the legal battle was likely to be over $10 million until getting the final verdict at ICJ. The Gambia appointed a team of international lawyers of Foley Hogue Legal Firm of Washington, D.C., alongside a group of Gambian legal experts headed by himself. The CFM meeting witnessed both Gambia and Bangladesh making a strong plea to rally fellow OIC states' financial support for the case, while the General Secretariat of the grouping opened a special account to receive contributions. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azadinews.org and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.